What's going on? Welcome back to another, well, a, a draft, a draft. It's the cartography, cart, cartographia, cartographia cube. And it has some, some wild stuff in here. It's basically land-based. Um, it's, it's John Terrell's cube. And John Terrell also did the cultic cube. And he loves putting like two copies of fetch lands in here, all kinds of weird stuff. Sacrifice any number of lands, reveal the top X cards where X is the number of lands. Choose any number of artifact or lands, or real this way, but all non artifact. I just don't think that's exciting. I don't know. Maybe it is. I think it's either Gear Hulk or Borborygmo. So I'm going to take the Gear Hulk because I just want to, I don't want to go three colors on my first pick. I can also take Rafine's Tower and just stay open. Oh, switch the overlay. Smart. Let's do that. Really appreciate you. Uh, what is this? A draft for ends? I'm going to take the Gear Hulk. I feel like that's going to make me the happiest. Um. Okay, so... X helps two artifacts or enchantments for seven mana. I mean, I guess it's a five, seven, but still, man, that's expensive. You got Ozolith. Uh, Sakura Tri Builder, Showdown, Steam Vents. I think it's just Steam Vents here. Yeah, we're just going to go with the Steam Vents. Nothing, none of these other cards really excite me. Apparently, there's also like an artifact. I think this is... So, based on the name and based on what I've read, this is like an artifact or a land-based cube where a lot of the cards have land interactions. Return a land you control to its owner's hand. Return an artifact or enchantment with mana value extra less from the graveyard. Um, lands that you, have, you control have flying. Whenever a land enters the battlefield, do a thing for each color mana spent on it. So basically like domain. Um, the, the biggest issue for me is I just don't know what a lot of these weird cards are. A lot of them are very like cube or uh, very commandery. Draw hard. I think we, I just kind of want to try to meshy and build around this, see if it does anything. But we did take a steam vents, but then I don't care about like any of the red cards. You definitely can go wrong with Tatiova. I know a drunk. It's a, it's double green and it's only a three three for three. If this was the five drop Tatiova, I, I, I would agree with you. But I, as a three drop, weird one. I'm not necessarily convinced. So whenever one or more non creature permanents are returned to hand, draw a card, and then X and a white return a land you control to his owner's hand. Return an artifact or enchantment card. To Value X or less from your graveyard to the battlefield. Okay. That could be good. I think we're just going to take Shark Typhoon. Being able to bring back a Shark Typhoon eventually is pretty cool. I also do like a Fabled Passage, but we're going to lean into Shark Typhoon. I like Control Magic here as well. Okay. Interesting. Rona's Vortex also very, very good. I think I'd rather just steal their guy. It's also another enchantment that we can get back. Uh, island and plains and a mountain. So if we are going the way of this steam vents, this is pretty decent. Now I'm starting to wonder if we're going to get anything worth wild for Torrential Gear Hulk. And I took the Steam Vents mostly because like a lot of the good cards that you want to flash back with Torrential Gear Hulk are also red. Like Magma Opus or any any of those other ones that are in uh, Strixhaven. Yeah, I know, Drunk. I figured that you just thought it was the wrong... Uh, Tatiova. 
because I agree the first, the the original the five mana one that like whenever you play a land you draw a card uh, and gain a life is very very good. Uh, let's take a misty rainforest that gets all of our lands right now. That's an easy choice. I mean, this is a solid seven cards, so I'm pretty okay with it. In too deep, split second, enchanted creature planeswalker, enchant creature planeswalker, or clue. Enchanted Thank permanent you. is a colorless clue. So you can put this on a clue to make it a clue? What the fuck's the point of that? What? Am I am I losing my mind? What? Oh, interesting. So, enchant creature, planeswalker, or clue. Enchanted permanent is a closed clue. So the f okay. So if it doesn't say enchant clue, then once you enchant the creature, it becomes a clue, and it's no longer a legal target. So the enchantment falls off. Why do you guys know that? <laughs> That's hilarious. That's hilarious that so many people knew that and I couldn't figure that out. All right. Well, didn't want that. Uh, I guess we'll just take Brainstorm. Probably not terrible with Misty Rainforest. Hard Evidence is also decent. I'll take a Hard Evidence. Impulse. Okay. This is actually some decent final picks. I don't care about either of these. All right, what does this do? Sacrifice any number of lands. Let's say five. Reveal the top X cards of your library. X is the number of lands. Sacrifice this way. So if reveal five cards. Choose any number of artifact or lands revealed this way. Put all non-land cards chosen this way. So all, all the artifacts. I don't know why it says not. We could just say artifacts, right? Put all artifact cards chosen this way onto the battlefield. Then put all land cards onto the battlefield. Tapped. So if I sack 10 lands, I get to put artifacts and lands in the amount of 10 or from the top 10 cards into play. That's kind of convoluted and weird, but I don't know. Like how many lands do you need to make that good? And how many artifacts do you need in your deck for that to actually hit? I like Prismatic Vista. I think I like Midnight Clock more. Uh, if Swift Re Reconfiguration or Prismatic Vista comes back, though, that'd be great. I would also take a Restless Bivouac because we have the. It's a it's a dual land. It's a it's a color. It's a dual creature land in our colors. I'm gonna take the clock though. You ever drawn seven? It's pretty cool. Look, there's another Misty. It's so weird. I don't think we have enough artifacts for Psy. I just want another Misty. I mean, we have we have Brainstorm and we have two dual lands that we can get. All right. Walking Ballista, huh? Interesting. I mean, especially with Brainstorm, I just feel like Misty Rainforest is probably better here. Ponder. I do like a Ponder. Sphinx of Clear Skies is pretty sweet. The Ward is two. We drill the top three cards, presumably. Um, Skyclave Relic. No. I don't hate Stone, Stone Cold Serpent. <sighs> I kind of just want Ponder, to be honest. Mm, I'm going to take the Sphinx. I'd like to have more threats here than... Oh, Mana Leak is nice. Especially with, uh, Torrential Gearhulk. 
Yeah, I'll take a mana link. Rise and Shine is also interesting. Four or plus one plus one counters any artifact on target non art non creature artifact becomes a zero zero and you put four counters on it. Um, and then if you overload it, all of your artifacts become four fours. I'll take mana leak. We're not really an artifact deck, considering our only artifact is Torrential Gear Hulk right now. I feel like we're pretty strongly in mono blue right now. And I'm not because the blue cards seem so much better than the other cards. I'm not sure if it's because the blue cards seem so much better than the other cards, or if it's because we've just gotten good blue cards. Or if I'm just, my eye is just drawn to the blue cards. This card is actually nuts, and I actually stuck this in my own cube a while back. It was in my sideboard for my, my cube maybe board for a long time. And I just recently like put it in the main deck instead of Tezzeret. I just think this is a significant finisher. Like if you have four or five mana rocks or like a grim monolith or like anything like that, like talismans, just making them all four fours until end of turn with flying is pretty ridiculous. In fact, I might just take that because I think we can still have a chance to build around that. Shark Typhoon is more like a four drop, let's be honest. Oh, Brutaclad, that's interesting. Creature tokens you control have haste. At the beginning of combat, create a 2 1 Phyrexian mirror artifact. Then you can choose a token you control. Each other token becomes a copy of that token. Hmm, fascinating. Xander's Lounge is two colors, but it also gives us another land for Sphinx of the, the Clear Skies. Hieroglyphic Illumination, not bad. I think as a six drop, this is probably not where we want to be. We're not making many tokens. I guess we have Hard Evidence and Shark Typhoon currently. I'll just take the Illumination. Actually, I will take Xander's Lounge. I like that a little bit better. Dragonwing Glider is pretty sweet. It's just a 4-4. <laughs> it's just a 4-4 dragon for 5. Um, but it also... You could just equip something else and make that a plus 2, plus 2 flyer. So, um, 3 mana for each opponent. Destroy up to one target artifact or enchantment that player controls. Destroy all artifacts and enchantments for 8 mana. That's a lot. I don't think I'm looking to actively be white here. Yeah, we're just going to take this and assume that it's pretty decent. Scattered of the Wind seems sweet. Storm of the Vault. Whenever one or more creatures you control to a combat damage to play, you make a treasure. At the beginning of your end step, if you control five or more artifacts, transform it. And then it actually becomes Talarian Academy. I actually kind of like that, especially if we're, we're, we're trying to cyber drive Awakener here. I'm game. Um, Unholy Heat is actually pretty decent. There's a Bivouac, but I don't think... Like, again, I think we're leaning away from white a little bit, so I'm going to take the Unholy Heat. Magmatic Channeler. Hammer of Perforos. An Enchantment Artifact Creature Token. Um, Actually, Hammer of Perforos could be pretty decent. They make one ones, but they don't make artifacts, right? They're just colorless spirit tokens. Sure. Um, I'll take a scrap work mutt. Ember cleave is interesting. I don't know if we're gonna play an ember cleave, but it's it's cute to have. Uh, deals damage equal to target deals damage to equal to its power. It doesn't untap. Sure. Well. I don't know for Grim Lava Mansuring, but this seems pretty decent so far as like a blue red tempo artifact deck. Hercule, sure. Sure, I'll take a Hercule. I mean, Hercule's not even not terrible. It's a 2-4 for 3. At the beginning of your end step, if you've cast a non-creature spell this turn, so in an in instant sorcery or artifact are going to be the most relevant types, you look at the top five cards, and you get to put one of those types into your hand. Four, 
for each card type. So if I cast a sorcery and an artifact in my turn, I get to put, you know, I get to find those and put them in my hand. Aether Spell Bomb. It's Currency Converter. Meh. Royal Eruption is decent. Three damage or five damage. I think I just want the Currency Converter. A lot of low, a lot of low cost cards in this, so that's pretty sweet. Mnemonic Sphere, Sangra has to draw two cards or cycle it. Let's let's call it what it is. Draw a card. Uh huh. Fires of Invention. Interesting. Not being able to cast things at sorcery speed when you have Mana Leak, Impulse, Brainstorm, Torrential Gear Hulk seems not great. I don't really care about Rabbit Battery. I don't mind a journey, but we only have one land to fix it currently. But I guess we have two Misties as well. It might just be Spellskite. Is this all artifacts? Non-creature artifacts. Fascinating. It might just be Mnemonic Sphere. Yeah. I'll take a mnemonic sphere. Sure. Let's draw two. Arid Mesa seems great. Okay. We also have Odawara. Untethered Express gets to be a, a 4 4 when we cast our Cyber Drive Awakener. Does five damage to a creature a planeswalker? Okay, not bad. Sermon attacks target creature training player controls power less than that. Can't be this turn. I, mean, I think it's Odawara, Arid Mesa, Untethered, or Raul Salvo. I'm not, I feel like, I feel like cards like Untethered Express are gonna, it's, it can't be the Untethered Express. We only have five creatures right now. It might just be Odawara. And we have a Temeshi, which might not even make the cut, to be quite honest. Yeah, let's take Odawara. That's a good one. Oh, I like an Emery, but again, I don't think we have enough artifacts. We have one, two, three, four, five, six artifacts total. Eh, that's not great. What does Audacious Reshapers do? Sacrifice an artifact, reveal cards from the top and see your real artifact. Put that card on the battlefield and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. They deal damage to you equal to the number of cards revealed this way. That's just so deadly. <laughs> I don't feel like dealing with that. I don't want to take 42 damage. Um, I think we're going to take Emery anyway. I don't know if it's great. We could just take like a black card even to go with our Xander's Lounge. We could like take just cast down. Sure. I don't love it. We just, it's like, it's funny because we're trying to lean into artifacts a little bit, but we don't have a ton of artifacts. So the cards that are like, whenever one or more artifacts you control, leave the battlefield. It's like, okay, well, that's not really going to benefit us a ton. Nine mana, flying haste. Whenever Chiss Goria forge tyrant attacks, excel the top five cards you Spell from among them this turn. If you do, it has a fit. Oh, like you still have to pay for it? You cost nine mana. <sighs> frustrating, frustrating. Um, 
I mean, this is an artifact crab. With a counterspell attached. That's actually not terrible. I do kind of like that. Uh, I actually don't hate Ornithopter of Paradise here, but actually, I think the Prismatic Lens actually goes better with our deck. Because it's a non-creature artifact. Uh, another art non-token artifact becomes a 4-4. Four, four. Uh, I also do like Fire Prophecy a lot. I'm going to take the Prismatic Lens here. I think it's probably just better for our, our strategies. Brea's Apprentice makes a 1-1... One, one. It's a 2 3, and that makes the 1 1 sacrifice center effect. Choose one. I still have Crater Lamory. Play it. This is a land. <laughs> it's also only copies creatures you control, which is worth noting. I don't mind a worldly council. Or do I? Yeah, I'll take the Bray as Apprentice. I think that's probably going to be better. Scalding Tarn seems pretty good. Dig Through Time. I actually think we're a great Dig Through Time deck here. We have two fetches, <clears throat> a bunch of one and, one and two mana cards. Oh, so I guess there's... Oh, no, this is the Atar's Proving Ground. That's not the one. Creeping Tarpet is interesting. This is a Sorcery. Spell Pierce could be decent. Might just want another removal spell. Might just want another three damage. But then Cathartic Pyre might just be better. Especially because we can hit that with Torrential Gearhook if we really need to. Um, sure, I'll take Inventor's Fair, assuming that we're going to be two colors. There's a Badlands. Ethereum Sculptor as well. I don't think that's probably going to be good enough. We'll take the Badlands. Okay, these guys came back. Um, sure. Oh, the Chisgoria came back. That's interesting. <clears throat> All right, so this is 25 cards. Looks like we need about two cuts. I think we're... Oh, wow, Fire Prophecy seems almost better than Cathartic Pyre here, I think. Yeah, I definitely like Fire Prophecy better because you get the you get the the loot, and you get the the damage. Um, I think we were gonna cut. I don't think Tameshi makes the cut in this deck. Actually, returning you return a land and then you pay like seven mana, and you can get back like a Gear Hulk or like a Cyber Drive Awakener. We can get back Storm the Vault if it gets killed, or Hammer. Actually, that's probably just fine. And we have three white sources just naturally, and I think it's a, what is it, a 2-4 or 1-4? 2-3? Sure. That's actually pretty decent. <laughs> oh, you playing a little counter crab? Yeah. Stuart, thanks for the for the resub as well, buddy. I was deep in the deep in the draft tank there when I got it. Appreciate you, my dude. Um, so let's say you go there. You go there. This is 25 cards. We need two cuts. I really don't love Brainstorm. I'm just not a Brainstorm player. I don't think it's a... I think it's frustrating. I think In Too Deep might be kind of silly. It's really funny that magic is a game where when you have a thing that turns it in, it turns a card into something else, you have to make sure the thing that turns it into that thing can also target the thing it turns it into, or else the thing won't work. That's funny to me. I like our top end. I, I feel like we have some good, 
good win conditions. Um, I feel like it's in too deep and maybe brainstorm. I think it's in too deep. Why want to keep brainstorm, especially with dig through time? Like, how many artifacts do we actually have? One, two, three. This we're gonna assume this makes at least one treasure. Four, five. You're an artifact, right? No, you're just a legendary creature. Six, seven, eight, and you make nine. 10, 11, 12, 13. You make a crab and a clue. You make a clue. Okay. Bad look. <laughs> oh, Lord. Lord Almighty. Um. God, one cut, huh? What if I don't want to make a cut? What if I just want to play 41? Can we do that? What's the Badlands for? I guess it's for the domain cards like Sphinx of the Clear Skies. Could also board in the cast down. Like this is actually four blue source, four four black sources, five with prismatic lens. But I think this is pretty decent. All right, let's add some basics. Oh no, we're definitely doing. Oh no, oh no, 60. Okay, so six and three is your recommendation? That's weird because I need... Oh, I guess that's fine. All right, so six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is eleven, ten. That actually seems pretty good. Oh, we get one more because of um, 41 cards. Sure. All right, let's see if this is anything at all i have no idea you should let the previous month's sub leader pick your lands at, for every draft that might be traumatic i don't know who that is i can't tell if you do know who that is and it's like you or if you actually don't know who that is that's actually that's actually not a terrible idea i I initially thought it might be because I'm very, very particular about my basic lands. I think basic lands are one of my favorite things to customize in Magic. Um, but that is kind of a cool reward. The problem arises when I don't have the lands that they, they pick, you know. Well, it's not terrifyingly horrible because you suggested it. It's terrifyingly horrible because of of my attachment to the thing that we're modifying. So it's not a reflection of you. It's literally a reflection of me. And now we just have to wait for the round. Oh, welcome back. We're going to... Play first against Snack Attack 2. Well, I think we can keep this. This easily ships an extra land. We can go use Misty to get, like, probably Rogren Triome. Reason being, uh, we have more black sources in our deck. That we can draw naturally. We're looking to maximize the number of land types in case we draw Sphinx. So... And also, we have an, an actual card in our deck that utilizes the white in uh, Tameshi, so. 
Lots of reasons. <laughs> I wish you good luck, but honestly, probably need it against you more. No, I don't think so, buddy. This That means I'm absolutely going to get crushed by this person. Uh, the goggles, they do nothing. Okay, okay. Let's get a little, let's get a little sphere out there, you know? You know how we do. I think we just gotta kill that guy. Oh, Tameshi. Okay, a little crabby ski. Oh, look, it's the mirror match. One island, one mountain, one other. And a two mana artifact for everybody. Okay. Well, we're just going to pass here because we have a counter spell. And one that adds to our to our dig through time as well. Flash flying. You may cast colorless spells and artifact spells as the, whenever they had flash as though they had flash whenever you cast a spell if it's greater than liberator uh that seems i feel like that's gonna get out of hand He said, I've taken a few years off of magic, so the number of cards that I have to read is pretty wild. And I'm like, dude, the number of cards I have to read and I haven't taken time off, also wild. Or also, also insane. Uh, let's play you. Let's get our little clock on. Tick tock, baby. So I think we're probably cracking sphere here. Or we can just play Tameshi, actually. Yeah, I don't I don't mind that. Let's get a Tameshi out there. This game's gonna get real meshy real quick, you know? This shouldn't have been as funny as it was, you know? Oof. Big oof. Well, they don't have any creatures that can crew that guy yet, so that's pretty good. Mana leak. Um, actually, maybe we crack this draw, too. We still get to keep up mana leak if we do that. And we get to hit a land drop, potentially. We did not, but we can actually still keep up Mana Leak. And we're going to be drawing some cards soon. You know, nine turns. Well, nine combined turns, so four and a half turns. I have six mana, so if they cast anything for four or more, we get to mana leak. Oh, are we just passing here? Oh, fascinating. Four cards in hand, huh? Do we dig through time here? Probably, right? I assume they have counterspell though. There's no reason. 
fascinating. One, two, three, four. Whatever one or more creatures you control deal combat damage. I don't have any creatures. Isn't that sad? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. This is so much mana. Oh dear. Oh boy. Oh yes. Oh yeah, that's gotta that's gotta go. To the trash can. Time keeps on ticking, ticking, ticking. Oh, that was a good good draw. So let's get rid of one, two, three, four. Cancel. We'll leave Mana Leak in there because I want to be able to, if we hit Torrential Gear Hulk or something. One, two. Uh, I don't care about you. Three, four. And I'll just pay one more, I guess. Interesting. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six mana. I could see currency converter being decent. We don't have any cards in our hand though. One, two, one, two, three, four, five. We can actually play Brea's Apprentice and Hammer of Perforos here. And then flip this I, th I don't know if that's good but we're going to find out So we make two treasures. This flips into Talarian Academy. And then we can actually add what? One. Oh, is this is this just makes whenever one or more creatures? Oh, so we make one treasure, sure. So this is what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So we can actually add two counters. Goes up to nine. I mean, the Sky Sovereign is going to be a problem. But ideally, next turn, we can draw six, 12, seven, five cards. Those are all numbers. Okay. Thought Vessel. I do have a feeling we're going to get nugged here. Uh, that guy's pretty good. Hmm. Very problematic. Have them draw three. No. Only takes six. Okay. So we hit Cyber Drive Awakener, Island, and Academy Ruins. So now they're going to crew. Deal us another six. We go to six. And we're going to find... Really, really got to find... Something here. Yep. Uh, add six. One, two.
All right. So we have a lot of mana. Shark Typhoon. That does block here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. We have fifteen mana. That sure is a lot. Hmm. We have two blockers. They're going to shoot this. We can Shark Typhoon block here, make a guy block here, right? I mean, I think we just do that. And cross our fingers, I guess. We could also Shark Typhoon and then activate Midnight Clock as well. Or maybe they just kill us here. <laughs> oh, oh boy. Yes, that is a thing. So they have one card. This is this is actually very intense. Getting your crew on. So this guy's not lethal, which is nice. But they do have two flyers. So we're going to have to really... Oh. Well, that's good for us. They definitely missed combat there. Welp. Okay. And... Cycle five, two, three, four. What are we making here? Eight, eight. Brainstorm is actually decent here because we can we can hide the cards we want. Um, well, our graveyard's not going to exist, so we might just want to put Mutt back. Or can we unholy heat and actually do a thing? We have artifact, creature, instant, and enchantment. Oh yeah, this is actually pretty good. I'm assuming I have Delirium. Oh, it's six. I should have just killed this. For some reason, I thought the Unholy was four. That's my bad. Uh, yep. Okay, so they have no cards in hand. Might as well add one. Beautiful. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, we can control magic of this guy. And unholy and keep up unholy and burst lightning for this. Is there anything we're going to do here with this one mana though? I don't think so. That's fine. We'll just we'll just burn through it. Oh, burst lightning, eh? So cur cur currency converter is actually free here. How much does this add? Five?
yeah, that attack was bad, but we also had a blocker and we would have drawn uh, into Brainstorm, into Unholy Heat. So, like, we definitely had answers. Um, so this is eight, nine. So we need six. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we can just do that. What is this? Four, five, six, seven, eight. And we'll put that under the converter. Yes. Got them sharks, boy. Do we have any way to destroy an artifact? Because that seems like a thing we want to do. Hmm. I guess cast down. No, cast down doesn't kill it because it's a legendary. <laughs> Hi -oh. Okay. Well, I'm just going to submit like this. I don't think any of our sideboard options are stellar. Uh, yeah, this seems fine. We have both mana leak and prismatic lens. Man, Talarian Academy is a help card. I'm going to yield until the end step. And then we're going to get our Rogrin Triumph. Oh, I was hoping I wouldn't have to play this as a land, but here we are. Oh no. Oh no. Um, I think we're actually just going to play Storm of the Vault here. Because next turn we're going to play Dragonwing Glider. Presumably. And get a treasure out of it. Man, Storm of the Vault turns Dragonwing Glider into a baby <laughs> Goldspan Dragon. Well, we can kill this guy, get a... Yep, yeah, alright. Um, I don't think I care about any of these things here. I'm just going to play Sphere. And if they play something relevant, we can respond to it. If they don't, we can draw two here. Try to hit a land. Oh, that's, that's the end of that. That is unfortunate. Well, not the best draw from our opponent, unfortunately. And then we wait. All right. I will play first. Oh, this hand seems good. So I'll keep it.
Oh, the gingerbread man. Brutal. Brut brutal. Hard evidence. Something about creatures with haste. The problem with this hand is I just don't want to really discard anything. So we'll just crab it up. We'll get a little crabby with it, you know? Hex Gold Halberd. As long as it's your turn, they get first strike and trample. So it's a 2 2 first strike trampler. For two. That's pretty good. Do we just keep Mirror Shell Crab up? Probably. I don't think Tameshi does much here. I guess it blocks, but. You got it. Spellskite. I don't think I care about Spellskite. Maybe I do. Like, the reason is we have a quite a few things that either bounce or deal three damage. And I don't really want to get in a situation where like, I can't kill a spell skite and all of my removal is ruined. <laughs> sure. <laughs> you got my crab. Okay. Considering we actually have an extra land now, I'm just going to play Tameshi. Because next turn we can actually play Sphinx of Clear Skies, which is pretty good when they have three lands. And when they're playing red and blue. So fingers crossed that that guy actually does some stuff. <laughs> Scrap trawler. Okay. Well, we've blanked their team for the most part. Oh, Gear Hulk is interesting. There's nothing to get, but I mean, it's still a 6-6. Six, six. Or five, a 5-6, five, rather. So we can return things that cost four or less if we get a five or less if we get a white source. Urza is pretty sweet. Misha's research desk. Uh, sacrifice it. Exile the top two cards of your library. Choose one of them. Until the next turn, you can play that card. Okay. So that doesn't increase our land type count. Yeah, I guess we're just getting in there. Okay. 
That's pretty good. I'm sure it's going to be control magic and then the other two, right? Yeah. Well, we're definitely taking Urza here. They have no cards in hand, so that's pretty good. Sure. Mm -hmm. Oh, they're going to activate. They're going to spin the wheel. They have one, two, three, four, five. Mountain. <laughs> Solid. I have to sneeze. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Give me this guy. Um, I don't really want to discard Torrential Gearhawk here, so. And they're in top deck mode. So fingers crossed, I guess. Okay. Hello? Is that my boo? Oh, they just, wow, oh, that's rough. Unless they have something to play. Oh no. Oh, that's fine. All right, so they have no cards in hand. I honestly don't really care about Urza that much. If they give us the option, we're just going to block. Probably five, six, seven, eight, nine. Probably double blocking here. We just lose either Tameshi or Urza. Could block here and not here. Yeah, I think that's just the best block. Okay. If it was like an unholy heat or something, it could have been decent. So four mana artifact left. They do get to draw something, which is pretty good. They got back spell skite. Sure. Midnight clock. Well, we're definitely going to hit you for five. See where that leaves us. Oh, we do have Mana Leak too, which is very, very nice. It's very nice. So if they spell skite, hmm. I kind of like brainstorm here, but I don't really want, where do they go? Do they go to the graveyard? Yeah. Okay. Bell Skite. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven mana. One, two, three. 
So you know, one, two, three, four, five mana. Play this, make this a one, one. So four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. They have 10 damage on board, so that shouldn't be lethal. I think it's gotta be this. I think that's just significantly better here. As much as I'd love to pitch this to scrap work mod, I think it's just more important to have a land. I could also play Midnight Clock for three and then have one, two, three, four, five up and make a three, three. That seems worse than just making a five, five though. Or I could make a one, one and a scrap work mutt. That doesn't seem great either though. I think I just want to keep up Torrential Gear Hulk and Shark Typhoon. And we know they have Spell Skite in hand. Equipping the trawler. Okay. That seems totally fine. Spell Skite. Okay, so now I actually feel extremely comfortable trying to mana leak this. I mean, the mana leak wasn't even the important part. Like getting the five six down and using our mana efficiently this turn was more was more important to me because they were also trying to attack with this guy, and we ain't having it. You got it. Getting getting brutal here. So is there a way we can, oh, Perforos is actually Hammer. I was like, is there a way we can actually play Perforos and play Shark? Uh, let's play Mutt, discard Mountain. For Brea's Apprentice. So four, five, six, we kill both of these. They get back a two drop. Uh, that actually seems totally fine. We're going to have plenty of blockers this turn because they have to block. I'm like mixed. I'm mixing and matching drinks. I got water here. I got seven up cherry sugar free cherry seven up. Can't do anything about this, right? That seems fine. Inter oh, what? <laughs> I was like, what? Yeah, definitely pile two. I want the land. Um, so we can actually go clock Brea's apprentice. I have like three bodies on the board. That seems fine. Because they're just dead on board to this guy, right? Oh, we're still in damage? Sure. My bad. I mean, I can't imagine a situation where they can actually deal eight damage to us this turn. If they're able to wipe our board and then activate Mishra's factory and keep all of their creatures alive, then, you know, that, that does it, sure. Cycling Triumph does not do it. All right. I feel like Grim Lava Mancer might actually be very good here. Maybe it's good in this deck in general. Hmm. 
This is eight creatures, but this is also a creature. Control magic is a creature. Shark typhoon is a creature. Currency converter can be creatures. It's actually a good amount. It does seem more artifacts matter than, than lands matter. It's very interesting. Take a brainstorm out. <laughs> I hate to do it, but but I don't really hate to do it. Let's get a load of this little guy. Currency can root off the top. Okay. <laughs> All right, I do like having an impulse here, so we don't we're not doing nothing, so that's decent. Yeah, get your little try on. Hmm, a little sphere. Oh, Midnight Clock next turn seems very good. Let's do that. Oh, yeah. Give me that red, too. Get busy clocking. Okay, so we're going to untap and steal Urza again. That seems pretty okay. And we can play a Grim Lava Mancer. Sure. Here comes an artifact. Yep, that's a good one. Four, four, and a five, three, huh? I may just chump. I don't actually see this guy being super useful. Plus, it does help our dig through time. You have trample. Yeah, we'll just block here. I don't really want to go to seven here. Oh, that's that's something. Um, hmm. So one, two, three, four. Unholy heat, something. Five, six, seven. Does that work? No. So I guess we can just play Island. And if we play Island, then we have one, two, three, four, five, Unholy Heat. Yeah, that seems correct. We could also spin the wheel too, but that's a little, a little scarier. Yeah, we're just gonna keep Unholy Heat dig through time up. 
play with fire to the face. Sure. Let's have one card in hand. And I kept the card on top. Very tempted to Urza here. Mm. Omen, okay. Wonder if that was the card you kept. Let's see where they go. Two on the top. <whistles> Currency converter. Okay, these are all good. But they're not creatures yet. Oh, what up, ew, you're skinny. <laughs> oh, good times. Hmm. Oh, no attack. I like that. I think we're just digging. Okay, Burst Lightning, Fire Prophecy, Mirror Shell Crab. Does Rogren try and do anything for us? Not really, right? Um... First lightning. What do you do? You kill this guy. So does fire prophecy. I think we want the fire prophecy for that reason. And it might just be crab as well. Okay. Um, so we got four, five, six mana. Can't play all three of these without taking some damage, which I'm not thrilled about. But I do want to get another red source out eventually. Alright, so we're just going to pass here and see what happens. I like casting the crab as a man. That is a, that's not bad. Scrap trawler. So that will make them a two, two doesn't have menace or anything like that. A man crab. A crabman, if you will. P and LR, huh? So I can actually counter this? I do kind of like that, because you're running out of creatures to crew. Crab people are people, so why should it be? Crab people should get along so awfully. Boom, boom, boom. Boom, 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 boom. So now they're going to crew with that rogue token. Honestly, Fleet World Cruiser looks like it's straight out of Streets of New Capenna, so that kind of makes sense.
That was a pretty good block. So what do we have? Instant, artifact, and creature. No delirium yet. That's a thing. We got four or five. So we have seven total mana. We can play Cyber Drive Awakener and also keep up Unholy Heat. Or we can play Bray's Apprentice. This is actually pretty decent. They're probably going to draw two. We're at five. We got to. Keep that in mind. This also turns the equipment into a 4-4, four four, so that's pretty neat. I think it's just Awakener here. It's just a 4-4 four four flyer that gives other artifact creatures flying. No attacks. Wow, the dogs are going insane upstairs. Yeah, draw your two. Sounds good. So I'm up to four cards, plus they have currency converter, plus they can sack this to draw. This is just a cry too, right? Yeah, okay, then I'll draw a card from that guy. Just four total scries. Non-land permanent becomes an artifact. Okay, I can't imagine you have anything super ridiculous for that, right? They're just having it for mana. Yeah, that seems fine. Uh, okay. I imagine you're making a construct. Sure. Um, I think we just block here, right? We can't kill a different... Yeah, this is fine. I'm not going to one. Still just artifact creature and instant right now, right? Sure. This game is fairly tense. <laughs> Not going to unholy heat anything yet. We're getting real close. Oh, that's interesting. So we can do that for four, make a four, four, and then unholy heat something. That seems pretty cool. We do lose these two, but I think that's fine. And we lose whatever we draw, I guess. We should have probably played it to see if we hit a land. Man crab. I mean, it's very possible we draw another man crab with our, our midnight clock. Okay, they have one card. That's pretty good. We're at five. We're trying to, trying to keep the dream alive here. That's fine. They have no cards in hand? That's good for us. Oh boy. Oh, this is this is going to be bl bloodbathy. Oh, man.
So we have enchantment, instant, creature, and artifact, right? All right, pass the turn. So now we get to draw seven. We can even play Torrential Gearhulk at instant speed. I think we're doing that. And we can dig through. Oh, dig through time actually doesn't do much here. Uh, I guess we just unholy heat. I think that's fine. And then we get to draw seven. Sure. <laughs> Seems good. Oh, we should have actually played that in the other order, but that's fine. Uh, does Midnight Clock exile itself? Great question. Yes. Exile Midnight Clock. And we win the match. All right. 4-0. Seems good. And now we'll play our last round. All right. Let's see if we can... 3-0 this draft. I'm not going to expect a 6-0, especially with this opener, but... Any blue source in, like, the first two turns is really good. I'm going to risk it. I mean, we have lands. It's not like we don't have lands, you know? I need one blue source. That's that's a double blue card. Did Rob leave? I don't know, probably. He was probably like, what's this cube? Okay, see you later. He's truly history's greatest monster. Ominous seas. Fascinating. Oh, beautiful for spacious skies. Amber waves of grain and all that. We don't need any any more uh, supplemental colors, so I can literally just get island here and feel good about it. Yeah, now we can impulse or brainstorm. Probably impulse. Hmm. Whenever an enchantment enters battlefield, put a 1-1 counter on target creature. That creature gains flying. You got it. As much as I want blue mana here, I think the important card to get is Mana Leak. And that is going to be another Ilando. Ilando. So what does it say? Whenever you draw a card, put a counter on it. Remove eight. Create a blue. Create an eight, eight. The interesting thing about this is you don't have to sacrifice it, right? So you could just make multiple Krakens, assuming that... What? I don't care about that. Oh, I kind of do. Nah, not really. We can play around that. Interesting. Yeah, let's let's get rid of that. That's just too much, man. You're just you're just you're just being ridiculous now. Should have gotten rid of this, then they could equip this and we could steal it. That would have been the pro play, I think. I think I was just underwhelmed by a, a seal of primordium. Boom, boom, boom. It doesn't really matter. I guess I'll put this one and then this one back. You can play this. Fire Prophecy you. We're going to put Island back. I guess we should have... I think it's fine. We can just draw a mountain. I don't think it's that big of a deal. And if they want a Seal of Primordium or Mnemonic Sphere... Great. Also, if they make a Kraken, we can just steal the Kraken, too, so. Hmm. 
Wild growth. Sure. They have one card in hand. Oh, well, it's going to be good. Do we have, we have instant land and that's it. Okay. If we crack this and I, and, and cycle this. Okay. Well, this is good for us. Now we definitely get to draw our cards. Or make a little shark, you know? Oh, hollowed. As long as you control seven or more enchantments, creature enchantments, creatures, you control have flying and vigilance. Enchantment create a white spirit with this spirits. Okay. Okay, I don't like that. Oh, wow. So many lands. I was hoping they might just spreading seize us. Boy, that would have been nice. All right, well, cycle this guy. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> oh, wow, that's a good one. Let's play that. And this. All right, this is actually very good also the seal of primordial being gone is primordium being primordial primordium primordium being gone is great because we have control magic now that's back on the menu yeah this is good for us triome Oh, they're going to do something. Six mana. Well, isn't that interesting? I think we're going to be taking eight, so that's unfortunate. Four card types, perfect. Yeah, I'd rather do this and like play Bray's Apprentice this turn so that we have something to block. Because they don't get trample or anything. They're at five? Oh, man. Oh, that's interesting. Man, Burst Lightning could... <laughs> could do some damage here. Uh, did we play a land this turn? We did not. So we can actually play Tameshi and Brea's Apprentice here. Yeah, that seems better. Now we have three blockers and we're at 15. That seems relatively safe. Make your Kraken. Looks like meat's back on the menu, boys. <laughs> oh, Lord. Sammy, you're a treasure, buddy. Audacity. Okay. I guess it does have trample. Yeah, why do orcs know what a menu is? It's such a great question.
Y'all are so racist. <laughs> okay, we just win the game. Beautiful. Orcs have a rich cuisine culture. <laughs> Do they? Do they? None of these cards really excite me. Yeah, I think our deck is good. And we kept that we kept that three mountain hand too, so that was pretty that was pretty nice. We're definitely keeping this. Oh yeah, Rogrin into uh prismatic lens. Oh, that's beautiful. Just gorgeous. Okay, so they are definitely heavy into the enchantments, you know? Oh, get clocking. Beautiful. Now we get to keep up burst lightning and impulse. Yeah, subscription is only $5 or it's free if you have Amazon Prime. Let Daddy Bezos pay for it, you know? Yeah, give me those Bezos bucks. Okay, they're not really doing anything, and I feel like not doing anything for them benefits us more than it does them. You know what I mean? Like, if we don't do anything... We're building our mana and playing... Oh, are they just going to counter this? Sure. <laughs> you got it. Buddy, I got a midnight clock. Ever heard of it? They might just... They might have just heard of it, yeah. You counter this guy, too? Oh, you're just going to sack a land. Okay. Let's yield to that. We don't need to know when our... And you can tell it's... You can tell it's fall because it's like 5 o'clock and the sun's already going down. It used to be like 8.30 and it's like still bright out. Starfield of Nyx. Oh, what a banger. Um, Let's just put a counter on this guy. Are you going to do it? Do it. It did it. Xander's Lounge, huh? Okay. So what is this? Uh, as long as you have five or more enchantments. Sure. Then I get to start killing your enchantments. It's true. The Starfield of Earth I've been enjoying quite a bit. Ossification. You gonna get rid of my guy? Okay. I don't like it, but I accept it. 
Sure. Great success. So now we're definitely torrential gear hulking and just impulsing, right? Slumbering Knight. So it's a 1-1. One, one. And then it, it can get plus 4, plus 4 uh, for 3 mana. Tameshi Control Magic. Interesting. I think it's Control Magic here. It's the only card that actually does anything. It's very good as well. One, two, three. So we can save this, but we just lose it. They have one card in hand. Yeah, we're just stealing this guy. Do we get to scry? Oh. Actually, I will put that on the top. That's decent. We can also activate him because we have Rogren Trium. I think he gets plus one, plus one. So it's pretty beefy. Oh, plus two, plus two. Am I right? Okay. Well, they're just they're just looting infinitely. I like the I, I like the option of if they actually get to activate their their starfield, we get to kill their ossification and get back our Brea. Well, Brea's apprentice. It's not Brea herself. Oh, we just win the game. So three oh six oh. Just a classic 3060 in our very first uh, Cartographia draft. Thank you guys for watching. Really appreciate it. Slam those like and subscribe buttons. Be sure to follow on Twitch or on YouTube, wherever, wherever you can find Find Cube content. You can check us out there, and I'll see you next time.